Hi everybody, today we're gonna talk about Calvin probe microscopy. We all know Lord Calvin, therefore, to avoid misunderstanding, it's important to say that this is not a microscope that measures the temperature. We'll soon understand why it's called in this way. Usually, when we think about microscopy, it comes to our mind the idea of an optical microscope, but this is not the case. In fact, the Calvin probe microscopy is a variant of the atomic force microscopy, and it does not measure the interaction between the light and the specimen. AFM working principle is more similar to a LP player that reads vinyl, or to a blind man that reads braille with his fingers. In AFM, a structural element anchored at only one end, called cantilever, resters the surface of the specimen. The measurement is obtained recording the interaction between the tip of the cantilever and the sample. The smaller the tip, the higher the resolution. Over a century ago, Lord Calvin proved that a potential is generated between two conductors when they are brought into contact. This contact potential difference depends on the work function of the materials being used. The work function is the amount of energy needed to release electrons from a material surface and it's related to the material's optical, electrical and mechanical properties. The contact potential difference and the work function are linked by this equation. In Kelvin probe microscopy, the two work functions are respectively related to the tip and to the sample surface. The microscope measures the work function difference for each point of the surface. But how can we measure this quantity? When the two conducting materials are connected, electrons in the material with the lower work function flow to the one with the higher work function. Measuring this current allows us to know the work function difference. This produces a one solid measurement, because the surface becomes charged, and the charges must dissipate before another measurement can be made. When the cantilever and the sample are not in contact, the system acts like a capacitor. The capacitance is equal to the ratio between the amount of charges and the potential difference. In addition, it is also inversely proportional to the distance between the tip and the sample. Therefore, changing this distance will in turn change the value of the capacitance. And this is precisely what happens in a Kelvin probe microscope. The cantilever is vibrated, and as the amount of charges is always the same, the measured potential difference changes. Once we measure the contact potential difference, we know the relative work function. It is possible to obtain the absolute work function of the sample by first calibrating the probe against a reference material with a known work function. Thanks for watching.